Okay, so I got all my little heat sinks in from Amazon. Um, they just had a little peel off uh, tape on the back and they just stuck right on. And I stuck them all on and uh, I closed up this room to let it heat up. Um, and it's actually doing amazingly better. Um, last night the temps would have been way over 104 degrees and it's 92 C right now. Um, it was in the low or in the upper 80s, like 88, 86, before I let the room heat up. Um, the room is about eight, 79 degrees, almost 80 degrees right now. Uh, when I was doing the testing without the heat sinks, uh, the room was about 74 to 72 degrees. The window was open with a exhaust fan on. So there's no air movement in this room right now and it is all closed up and uh, this is doing a lot better. So it does seem like, I don't know if NVIDIA, you know, these have different, you know, maybe copper weight in the coolers. Um, I would like to actually weigh this GPU um, and weigh it against one of my other 3080s to see if there is a weight difference. I actually might do that in the future. Uh, take all those heat sinks off and weigh it. Um, but with the heat sinks on, it is making a massive um, temperature difference. So this is heating, you know, this is just getting too hot. It doesn't have enough cooling capability to keep that car cool. Uh, the re really weird part is when I add this fan, um, to this like if I turn this fan on like this um, Like the heat sinks right now are, are scorching hot if you touch these these are hot um, But I turn this fan on it'll make these heat sinks cold. It will actually heat up the card um, a couple of Celsius like two to three Celsius It'll actually heat the card up and I turn the fan off and it'll actually drop temperature so that's super weird I don't know, yeah, I don't even know how to even start to explain that. Maybe it's blowing the heat back onto the card instead of extracting the heat off. Um, that's the only explanation I can think, but um, these heat sinks are doing just as much as, if not more, than what that fan was doing, and they don't require any power to run, and they were only $10 with one day shipping on Amazon. So, um, yeah, adding some heat sinks definitely helped. Uh, I'm going to keep running it, keep testing it, but I mean, for if it was without the heat sinks right now, you're talking this, this would be uh, 104C and then it would start thermal throttling, um, hardcore thermal throttling. Uh, it's not throttling at all. So shoot for a $10 fix. I couldn't be more happy. It does still need a repad though. This is this is with a repad. Um, I just don't think that, I think that the pads are transferring, like I said in my other video, so much heat to that heat sink on this GPU that the heat sink just can't keep up. So that's my little update with my heat, my, my heat sinks. Um, has anybody else had to do weird stuff to a 3080 or a Founders Edition card? Um, let me know. It's like 82 degrees in here now. I'm gonna have to open up a window, but that's, I mean, that's fantastic. This thing would be melting down, be at like 80 mega hash right now if it wasn't for those heat sinks. So, amazing little heat sinks, for sure. I'll, I'll put a link to them in the description.